part three to this conversation. I want to leverage more opportunities, right? Sure. I know that if I'm forward facing more as opposed to um, with one client, right? I can serve one client, but I also could bring the client in and like we were talking about before, still be a part of the deal. But my job is to get more business. Yeah. So I know I need to bring on more agents, which I'm working on right now. You should only bring up agents for two different reasons. You sound like you already have the type A person who can help you mm -hmm. work with buyers. Going forward with expansion, right? You're either bringing on an agent because they get you into another geographic area, mm -hmm. whether it's a block you've never sold on, a hill you've never sold on, a town you have a hard time getting into, because this person is now gonna be a resident agent for you. Mm -hmm. You're the power, you're the team, you're the brand. Bye, Ginger Walker, right? It's everything. And then this person lives around the corner, so they know everything. And the two of you combined now can start taking market share in that town. When we first started the team, it's exactly what I did. And when I first started this company too, it's like, all right, now I can go out and get the best agents. So I said, first thing I need to do, I need two agents per neighborhood. I don't care anybody else who reached out to me. Everyone went into a folder. I need two Upper West, two Upper East, two Soho, two Tribeca to manage lead flow because I, I'm gonna do what I do. And when I go to pitches and meetings or matching buyers, I wanna make sure that I can go in and say, and she lives around the corner. And he lives up the block. He's been here for 20 years. He was born under that tree. And then, then you can grow to however big you want, right? Because then you have roles for people. Think about your team like a football team, you know? You are the head coach and the quarterback at the same time. You will have veteran team members who end up kind of becoming also player coaches. Other team members are gonna to look to her when you're busy running around. Um, and so she's kind of like offensive, defensive coordinator and the player. Um, or like a team captain, kind of. Mm -hmm. And then you look at your team, you're not gonna throw the ball and catch it too. You can, right. benefit of this business, but like these are your running backs, like these are your offensive linemen, these are your defensemen, and you can have as many as you want. And then you're building this team around you where like you are the top, all of these people help you get to the end zone. That is the goal. An end zone is 50 million in sales this year, 60 million in sales this year, and you make it clear to everybody what your goals are. I want 75. That's We're gonna break goal. 75 million this year, and that's us as a team. And you let them know, it's not you, right. you're gonna say you, but it's like, if we do this, it's on your resume forever, whether you stay with me for the rest of your life, or you start your own thing, mm -hmm. that we became number one in this state, that we did this. So let's go after and get it. Let's figure out how we're gonna do it. We are number one in the state, by the way, for Coldwell Banker. There you go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> for small teams, we are. Nice. Real estate brokers don't quit, no. right? I'm definitely not by myself. Do not print that anywhere. <laughs> Nothing I do is on my own. I can't get, I can't even tie my own shoes. That's why my shoes have zippers. <laughs> um, it's with the help of Luke, everyone downstairs, and all the amazing women upstairs. And this company is like 80% women um, who do absolutely everything and I do nothing. That could go on the record. <laughs> wow, I cannot believe how much I just learned. I'm so excited to get back to Northern Virginia and get to work. No one is gonna ever be you. Mm -hmm. Is any of this helpful? No, it's definitely helpful. Are you so, sure? Yeah, absolutely.